Hi, my name is Seymour Kazimersky. Before we get into my commentary today, I just have to say thank you to the hundreds of people that have been wishing me well after my last email about the blessings that I have had over the last few days. And uh, although I have not been able to respond to all of you, uh, please believe me when I say you are all in my heart and I, I just feel absolutely blessed that you took the time to either email or text or call me. So again, thank you. So let me welcome you to Seymour's World Commentary on Think Tech Hawaii. You can find all my commentaries and Seymour's World episodes on the Think Tech Hawaii website. I welcome your comments by email, text, or phone, and you could reach me at seymour.kazimersky at gmail.com or 808-551-3222. Okay, our topic today is what is your self-worth? No, I'm not talking about how much money you have in the bank. I'm talking about the dictionary definition of self-worth as the sense of one's own value or worth as a person. However, there are many ways for a person to value themselves and assess their worth as a human being, and some of these are more psychologically beneficial than others. I'm talking about self-respect. All of us, every single one of us at one time or another, feel we have done something terribly wrong and we now must face the consequences. To be able to look in the mirror and do what is right, first we have to close the door on self-pity, excessive self-absorbed unhappiness over our troubles. Our healing and our ability to fix the problem begins with self-respect. Here are my four keys to maintaining a high degree of self-worth. Self-respect is the most crucial aspect of our life. If you do not understand how to appreciate yourself and your worth, how do you expect others to? Life is too short to maintain toxic relationships. In order for ours to flourish, we need to work on ourselves first. Don't expect anyone to love or respect you if you don't fully love yourself first. Let me repeat that. Don't expect anyone to love or respect you if you don't fully love yourself first. People accept shitty jobs and relationships because they do not respect themselves enough to realize they deserve better. Too many people become complacent in these aspects and stop striving for greater things in their life. Relationships become detrimental when the self-respect is lacking. You wind up hurting the other person and yourself. First, you need to love yourself enough to choose the ones that make you happy and motivate you to grow. Number two, respect yourself enough to walk away from anyone or anything that no longer serves you, grows you, or makes you happy. This does not come easy, so a conscious effort must be consistently made on a day-to-day -day basis. A lack of self-respect, and most often does, result in depression and self-destructive behaviors. You need to reinforce your positive qualities and actively try to fix your negative qualities. When everything else in the world fails you, you will always have your self-respect to fall back on. How you feel about yourself affects every single aspect of your life. If you don't respect yourself, then you won't take care of yourself the way you should. By achieving this, you set boundaries for your life and your relationships. This will encourage people's deference to you. You cannot allow people to treat you poorly, and if they do, you need to recognize your self-worth and walk away. Others cannot negatively influence your opinion of yourself. This will only lead to degradation of your self-worth. You must love and respect yourself before anyone else can. Number three, we accept the love we think we deserve. Self-respect and self-esteem play hand in hand with one another. Self-esteem gives you the confidence to succeed and without it you are simply placing limitations on yourself. You and only you are responsible for your fate. Life is no fun if you spend it hating yourself. This stifles any progress you hope to make. Once your confidence is up, you will stop making the terrible mistake of comparing yourself to others. 
you will already be comfortable and happy with whom you are. When you love yourself, you take pride in who you and what you have to offer. Too many people place the needs of others before their own, but in order to respect others, you need to meet your own needs first. How can you truly learn to appreciate others if you can't even appreciate yourself? This is fundamental to personal growth and a concept too many people don't realize. Acting on principles in ways that you respect is another important quality to foster as you develop a higher level of self-worth. Make a concerted effort to maintain personal integrity in your life by insisting that your actions correspond to your words. When our actions do not match our words, we are more vulnerable to attacks from our critical inner voice and less likely to respect ourselves. By challenging your critical inner voice and stopping comparing yourself to others, you can begin to get a feeling of your own self-worth. By pursuing activities that are meaningful to you and acting in line with your own personal beliefs, you can develop your sense of yourself as a worthwhile person in the world even further. So I hope this helps you understand what self-worth is all about. My name is Seymour Kazimersky. You're watching a commentary of Seymour's World. You can find all my commentaries and all Seymour's World episodes on the ThinkTech Hawaii websites. I welcome your comments by email, text, or phone, and you can reach me at seymour.kazimersky at gmail.com or 808-551-3222. Aloha.